so um, after doing all the testing and definitely due to it being around the OTDR or the TDR tested at 63.1 metres um, it's definitely outside MBN spec FAR G6 hence why the signal's so low so we've just roped it we've just pulled in uh, pulled out the RG6 we've got a rope in there and we're just about to attach some RG11 and pull that down to where we need to go. Okay, so um, we've got the RG11 in. So we've got it all the way down to where we're going to move the PCD to, or, or the isolator. Um, that'll guarantee that we get maximum signal, and then uh, we'll move that down to the side of the house, and um, we'll put the isolator down there, the PCD down there, and then um, because we can't actually replace the cable going into the house due to the three tier it is and the, um, and the metal roofing, um, we'll then um, terminate it to the isolator and then from the isolator out into the house will be RG6 and that should um, give us more than enough we need to meet um, signal strength requirements for MBN so they can get their HFC put on. Because uh, as we stated, um, their RSP has told them that come Saturday, uh, they're cutting off their internet. So we want to try and make sure they get a smooth transition because MBN techs have come here, told them uh, for 60 odd metres they're going to cut up this driveway and put new conduit in because they couldn't or wouldn't replace the RG6 or, or wouldn't find where it ran to replace that. It was too hard. So. We've spent a bit of time here and we've managed to do that for them. So um, we've just saved them um, getting their driveway cut up because it's a battle axe driveway, house at the front and there's a house at the rear. So let's see how we go. We'll get it all terminated and uh, we'll do some tests and make sure it's going to meet the requirements. Okay, so we're at the temp location. We've got to fix all this up. This is only temp. We're going to mount the PCD here now instead of uh, around 63, 65 metres away. Uh, we've just tested it through an isolator through the new RG11. Um, you'll see that, see that uh, DOCSIS, which is this one here, this is the MBN up and downstream channels on HFC. This is covering all the channel spectrum. This includes Foxtel and Telstra cable. You can see there's a fail there, but all the MBN channels pass. So we'll just have a look and see. Um, and we'll show you exactly what channel is failing. So we're just scanning across there and see that's that's a Telstra Telstra cable channel that's failing. So all the MBN channels pass. That's Telstra 33 and Telstra 34. So all the MBN channels pass. So uh, we've got them a service and it's going to save them having the um, driveway cut up and no access to through their driveway for probably about a week so we'll go through we'll finish it all up fix all that up mount it up there um, we're just going to put it through now and we'll test it on the um, rg6 that's running into the house because we can't replace that we're gonna um, we've left more than enough here um, we're going to make a connection here this will go on to the uh, output of the uh, isolator and then we'll go inside we'll do a test there and make sure that the internal section's good. But as far as we're concerned, we've got plenty of signal here um, to cover the last oh, probably eight metres um, to get their MBN going. So we've got RG11 in and all the MBN DOCSIS channels are now passing. So we're all good. Okay, so we've ended up replacing the whole lot, rerouting the internal cabling because the original cable that was located in the closet here was faulty. That was RG6 as well. So now we've got um, RG11 running all the way down, uh, probably all up around 75 metres now. And our massive improvement on the signal, where we were between negative 2.2, I think it was, to about negative 14.7. We're now around the 12.9 to negative 5. Point one, I think it is. So we're well within specs now for MBN. So it's all ready. MBN just need to come and connect up their NTD, and they no longer need to dig up the driveway. So uh, as I explained before, if we just have a look in here, 
Let's go through. There's only, uh, I think they're Telstra channels that are failing, which don't affect MBN. So that's T34, Telstra 34, that's the Telstra cable network. So it's just the one channel failing. Telstra 34 doesn't affect MBN. Those services have been removed in some areas where they've gone to Doxus 3.1, one gigabyte. Um, they're still showing Telstra and Foxtel here, which will probably get um, removed uh, maybe next year to allow for the faster speed. So we're all done. We've got this up and going. MBN just need to come along and connect their NTD and customers got their service. <laughs>